sure it wasn't me or her uh, these guys weren't really with weren't in the band yet and I'm, I'm pretty sure it was our buddy Jason that came up with it just a friend of ours that uh, said it was just goofing around like you guys should call yourselves Apple Butter Express and little did we know it was guys are, are, are still fresh <laughs> okay but uh, we went around for two years as a duo just the two of us doing it that way and um, we're able to make a pretty decent name for ourselves in the Tampa area but now that we've added these two it's opened doors to a lot better games yeah. so now people can dance <laughs> Sometimes, but like I just, I don't know if we even. It's not know really that country. It's, <laughs> it's right. not country. It's yeah, not poppy. it's not pop. But uh, we have bluegrass instruments and. But doing catchy. whatever. But doing, it's not uncommon for us to show up to another band's gig and we'll get on stage with them and end up singing half our songs and half of their songs. And this happens every night around here with some group, and it, that's awesome. Like. <laughs> part of it and it's become a community it's a total total community and it's awesome because even people that don't play music have picked up things like like hula hoops and, and spinning fire and become a part of the show in that atmosphere I just